Oh, horrible. Absolutely horrible. But A6B5 here. Actually, we're playing Jaws, so I need to be quite a bit quicker. Um, let's go here, play E6D6, pretty standard. Let's go back. I have Knight F6, I have Bishop E7, of course. This isn't Jocelyn, this is Krikor. Yeah, exactly, you guys. This is this is Krikor, right? This is a Krikor. Um, it's no joke. Well, it's not about it being no joke. It's the fact that... Um, wait a second. I can play D5 and go Queen E7. Go here. If he sacks, I just go Queen C8. And I think I'm okay, or I hope I'm okay. Okay, so he goes first. So I go here. I mean, either I'm great or I'm not great here. But Queen E2. I'll eat a lot of peaches into the country a lot of peaches now the question is can i go king f7 here or not um i guess i'll go here i mean i'm probably gonna lose this game somehow but whatever this is gary kasparov not joss I'm also true yeah this is obviously gary chess Am I missing something here? I probably am missing something. I thought Queen C4 was a very weird move. Um, but I could be wrong. But yeah, anyway. Well, I say in Florida, what is her favorite place? I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll see. But I'm glad I'm not in California right now. I'll say that. Because if I was, I'd be really, I'd be really upset. Um, okay, e5. I mean, I can obviously trade here. d5 and knight e4 looks correct, unless I'm missing something. Um, has to go to d3, and then I play knight e4. And I, I don't really know what on earth is going on. Or maybe not so clear. Wait, knight e4 takes... Knight e4 is queen... Oh, he's got some weird trick with queen f3 that I missed. I can actually just take. What's the? I think I'm just gonna take and take. God, this is even or am I up upon? I'm really confused. So yeah. One, two, three, four. I'm up upon somehow. I think here, unless I'm crazy. I have uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, um, siete. Okay, it's even material actually. So even material. Oh, I should have thrown in the check, too, but I didn't. Okay, that was very poor by me. Uh, now, this is actually quite dangerous. I have to be very careful how I play this. I think I'm going to go queen f5. Oh, he trades. I didn't think he would do that. Um, it's actually not great for me, though. Because rook h6, I go bishop g7. Um, I wish Magnus was Benjamin. Yeah, if Magnus was Benjamin, that would be uh, quite interesting. Go here, attack the rook. Although, I don't think that was the right move, either. Yeah, he's got this now. I guess I have to go here. Kind of gross. They say five. I mean, I don't want to go b5, but I guess I have to. I mean, if I take it as knight a4, and that's pretty disgusting as well. Question is, how do I play this? Uh, I can't go c5. And time is actually kind of uh, critical here. I mean, I guess I'll just go. I mean, I, ha I can play rookie two maybe, but it doesn't look right. I'll go here. So I have bishop h6. That's what I'm angling for. If he makes a draw, so be it. Okay, yeah, I, I didn't think he would want to draw. He shouldn't want to draw, honestly, at this point. White's much better. Um, why did I do that too? Playing this horribly. It plays rook h3, so I guess I go back. Yeah, what am I even doing? I'm just in a bad mood right now. And it doesn't even have anything to do with Crick or with the whole Benjamin thing. I'm just in a bad mood. Um, what am I doing? Oh, he takes that one. Okay, so I go here. Oh, did I give him f4? 
Okay, I get C5 at least. Uh, blunder that too. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm just in a bad mood. Okay, I'm gonna play a few more and I'm gonna call it a day, you guys. So I'm just not feeling it at all. Go here and play off four. Not 3200. No, I'm really not feeling it actually. I mean, people might say that it's like copium that I want to end the stream, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just in a bad mood right now. So yeah, let's go here, H3. Like even that last game was really, really bad. Like if, if I'd been a little bit more on, I probably, I mean, I think I still should have lost that game, but I could have made that a lot more complicated and trickier than, than it should have been. Let's go here. It should be six as a threat now. Let's go here anyway. I'm gonna wait to see what he does. Go watch him survivor. Not, not right now. No, I guess I'll play here. Again, I don't even know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna go A4 and take. I guess he, I mean, if he takes, I take, so I'll go here, play Rook D2. I couldn't, I could not have flagged him last game. Um, uh, I, I, I mean, I, I couldn't have flagged him because so he was able to trade pieces. So let's take. Again, not a good move by me here either. I should have taken with the bishop. Do they have knight g4 or something? Okay, whatever, let's just go F5. go here let's go here I'm gonna go e6 next one that's my whole plan he does take okay interesting I guess I'll go here I feel like I'm about to blunder something too it doesn't feel like I'm it feels like something's about to collapse here I just don't know what Knight c7. Now that looks like a horrible move, but I don't actually have a good continuation. I guess I'll go here and take. I mean, I have knight e5 next move maybe, but it's still kind of messy. King f8. If I go d4, bishop f3, g3. I mean, knight e5 looks like the obvious move, but is it actually good? I don't know. Don't care. I'm gonna play it anyway. Let's go here. Pack the bishop. Because if he goes away, I have knight e7 to fork the queen and the rook. Yeah, H4, I kind of expect that. But the thing is, that doesn't actually do anything, I don't think. I just take. I don't see his next move anyway. I don't see any other moves. I just take the take the bishop here, and I should be doing pretty well. Takes. Now, again, I mean, I must be winning some. I think I just... I have rook d4, which looks crushing. Let's just take. Take, I mean, I have 97 check, I guess. So, I mean, 97 wins, but even, I mean, everything is kind of winning here. I think for a second. Yeah, it's just GG. Um, why am I crying? I'm not crying. I mean, mods can, I can just ban you too. Uh, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Um, a few more and then I'm gonna stop. But yeah, I'm just gonna ban you, dude. Like, there's no need for that. Uh, I'm just annoyed. Go here, play e6, d6. Um, probably will go a5, b5. He's replying to someone? I don't know. I think he's replying to me or something. But anyway, whatever. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't talking to me? Okay. Hmm. Oh, did I just blunder bishop f7? I guess I can go here and it's okay. It's, yeah, <laughs> whatever. That's how it goes. Okay, he's gonna go for this. So, I mean, I guess I go, I go to d7 or c8. I guess I should go to, it has to be right because the reason c8 must be right is because I go here. Cause knight f5, I just take. Uh, I won the RCC. No, I didn't win the RCC. Tomorrow's the finals, no. Yeah, no, it actually mostly doesn't have to do with Benjamin, actually. Most of it is just, I'm just, I'm annoyed about the other thing. Um, let's go here on Queen G6 and I should be winning. Yeah, most of it actually is, it does not have anything to do with the, the Benjamin game. It has to do with the other thing. But, yeah. C'est la vie. 
Okay, I guess I'll go here. Try to trade some queens. Maybe knight c6, knight d4 or something. Let's go here. Attack the pawn. I can play bishop c8, I think. I don't know about e5 or knight f6. Both make sense. Um, hmm. I mean, I really want to take the pawn, but it doesn't look right. So I guess what I will do here... I'm just going to go knight f6. Just keep this very simple and play like h5. Knight e2, I expect that. But I can play e5 if I want to. Takes and bishop c8, maybe. Oh, now I gave him queen e6, so... Knight d8, though. Ugh. Oh wait, no, queen e6, I just go queen f7. What am I doing? All right, should be okay for me. doesn't mean this is great or anything, but I feel like I'm okay. Let's go here. I'm gonna play rook d8 and just trade some juicers off for sure. This rook f1, very logical move, I mean, my assumption is that I have to trade some rooks. If I don't trade rooks off here, eventually I'm going to end up in a lot of trouble. So I have to start trading off materials. I am ahead. Was rookie one. I mean, I understand that move. I guess I'll go here. Because now F4 I take and I made him on C2. So everything is pretty good here. And hit G2. Why so many ads? I'm a little bit behind. That's why. Uh, he goes in H3, which I don't actually really like. I mean, I get he has F4, but then I always have Queen G4. So maybe I just go A5. Feels a little, eh, feels a little bit slow, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Doesn't feel right, but I do have queen g4. That's what I'm banking on. Hopefully it's fine, but again, we'll see. Okay, it does it, so I go here, we trade, and I assume that I'm winning, although I gave him queen g5, and I feel like a moron. Of course, I feel like a total moron. Oh, uh, that's just lovely. Wait, but I can play rook g8. Again, I've really made a hash out of this. g8, queen e5, I guess. I guess I can go h4 here. h4, knight f5. I mean, I found a way to mess this up completely, which is right on par, I guess, for what I should expect to happen. I think rook d. Okay, I guess I go. Oh, it takes queen b6, rook c8, I guess. Block, I have rook c8, I guess. Oh, of course I missed that, naturally. Okay, I just have to move. Why am I thinking so long here? I mean, I have rook c8, basically, which is my big, big bang. My big bang threat. Magnus Troy, you get 2,900. I'm at 31.35. Leech has is very different. Very, very different. Um, so, yeah. Go here. The rook c8. But no, mostly it actually doesn't have to do with Bach, though. I mean, joking aside, it doesn't doesn't have to do with Benjamin. Most of it has to do with um, with the other topic that I'm just very disgusted by. And now, of course, I gave him knight h5, which was why I should have gone to g8 in the first place, but... Yeah, I, I gave him this rook h4, and now it's, like, very, very tricky. Because knight h5, knight f6 is actually a beautiful checkmate. I have to go, like... Here... I should have just gone queen sheet right away. I'm still going to win the game because, I mean, it's a winning position most likely, but very poor. Um, wait, he went g5. Wait. Another very poor move. Go here, go for check. Oh, I just hung. Oh my god, I just.
Oh, horrible. Absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrific. Horrific, Chess. Absolutely horrific. Oh man, that was so bad. No, I'm not, that wasn't even dirty. I mean, my technique was trash. I'm so disgusted myself. I mean, I, I know you're like, wow, that was so pog, great win, but I'm very disgusted by my play there. Yeah, that was that was pathetic. Um, you know what? Okay, now let, let's try to actually slow it down for a second here and not, I'm gonna play H4, which just hangs a pawn. Why did I do that? I wish my, my horrific chest would beat a 3K. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree totally. Now it goes there, which is interesting. So I'm gonna go G3 consolidate. Because now F5, I can always castle. I don't know if I like the way that he's played this. Although Bishop G4 is a good move. Actually, that's a very good move. We're going to G5, F6, Knight D2, F5, F3. Looks okay. Because F5, F3 takes, I just take, take. Not wonderful, but playable at least. Everyone who said that was a good game is tone deaf. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone who said that was a good game is tone deaf. That's a good one. That's a good one. Actually, I like it. I like, I like it. Um, yeah. <laughs> touche, touche, my friend, touche. Knight F1 is kind of asking for D5, by the way. I don't know why I played Knight F1, but we'll see. It's not about the win, but how you play. I, that's just because I play chess professionally. That's all. I mean, he plays Knight F8, which I really don't like, I have to say. Um, Go 93, I guess. Attack the bishop. Isn't F3 just winning? Let's go here and take the juicer. Okay, it's in, things are improving. It's going to be 3-1 now. Things are starting to... No, of course he's knight c5, which I conveniently forgot was a move. You know, the question is, do I castle long or not? Castles long is interesting. But I don't really... It doesn't feel right. I think I have to go short. I don't think I can go go long. As mu as interesting as I want it to be, uh, I don't think it's right. So I'm just going to go here and probably stack the rooks. I'm just going to stack. Oh, he's going to go C5 again, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, this is probably not wonderful either. Go here and here. So F5, I have knight d5, I guess. Um, I think it's how do I do this exactly? I mean, I guess I go here and rook f1. Cause I mean, I can always cut it with knight d5 at the right moment. And now I guess I go with this knight. I don't know if this is the right knight. Um, play f4 here. I can also just play like queen e3 maybe. I think I probably should actually just stack my rooks here. Keep it very, very basic. Kind of okay, kind of okay, but not not wonderful. It's not a wonderful time, as as Minlay would say. Eventually, I should probably try to chop the queen side, but I don't have a quick way to do that. So I guess I'll go here and queen g5. F4, I'm probably going to take and play rook h1. I'll, I think I'm going to actually just take. Knight e6, interesting move. Um, is f4 really a threat is the big question. I don't know if it is, but I'm going to play Rook G1. Now I can obviously take two, I just realized. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take. I want to see which way he takes. Does he take the queen or does he take with a pawn? Okay, he takes with a pawn, which I kind of expected. I thought I could go maybe run with my king now, though. I go G4, takes, takes... Whatever, I'm just gonna run with my king out. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna run my king to the queen side. It's a very, uh, very extravagant king walk here, but I think it's okay. So I always have knight f4 here is the point. It's a little bit extravagant, but I think I get out here, so I do. Okay, so I guess I'll play, I just gotta move. Uh, let's go here. Go here, I have knight b5. Oh, that's just a terrible move, but okay, whatever. Now I, now I can take and take, I guess. He missed this. Now it gets very spicy, like extremely spicy. Wait, but now I take? 
Wait. Oh, but he's got a4, which is... Oh, I should have taken f5 first, maybe. But he goes bishop e4, which is also a mistake. Go here, knight f4. Go here. I guess I go here. Um, I'm moving too slowly again. Ugh. Yeah, I was gonna make the draw. I mean, yeah, I'm 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 too slow. I I can't I can't flag in there. Even though I think I was probably better, it's way too risky. Okay, he's gonna play Smith more. Okay, let's play um, one of the safer lines. Safer being relative, of course. This is actually, I think, okay, play is e5. I'll go d6. d5 was also a move. Uh, bishop g5, queen d7, or is it queen c7? I can't even remember. Um, oh, but there's, there's knight d5 here. What am I doing? Wait, I just made a mistake, actually. Ugh, I guess I have to go here. Yeah, I think a jumping jack for the 19. This is actually one thing, like, as I get used to the old setup again, probably things will become become a little bit better. Yeah, I thought he had 90. Wait, but can't... Wait a second. Am I just insane? Uh, but also, I feel like I'm a little bit slower, so that is something I'm going to have to adjust to when I do... Um, when I start... Uh, as I stream more and more here. Because, like, right now, it's like a random blitz match. Not a big deal. But when I start playing in... Um, I start playing in like the bullet again like i'm gonna have to be better than this for sure in the big uh the big big time scrambles and it goes there so i mean i have to trade i have to go well actually i shouldn't pre-move because he could play something else but at 95 i think i just i thought i could go f6 or something i don't know maybe not actually 95 i think bishop e7 i'm okay yeah i think i'm okay no loosey goosey well it's not loosey goosey it's just that um just it's very, very dicey, that's all. So if he takes six, I play f6. Rookie six, bishop is at that. Knight c8, I just take. Okay, so he plays h4. I mean, but this... Well, I guess actually... It's funny, if I go f6, he goes back. And e6 is a very, very weak pawn. I know that I'm much better here. It's just a matter of proving it. Let's go here, attack the rook. This can't be a bad move. If h5, I mean, I think I just take and go bishop a5. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm about to throw this game to some brilliancy, but I don't see it. So knight e5, I just take, take king f8, and there's nothing. It was knight d7. This is very weird. I'm really confused. I can also take h... I can Everything is hanging here. Like, literally every single piece on the board is hanging. Okay, I'm going to go f6 and just take. And I'm, I think I'm winning. So he takes, I take. If he goes knight f6, take 6, I can castle. And I think I win. Yeah, if he takes, I castle. Wait, oh, wait. No, but I take and I go king e7 here. And then I just take and I win the game. Okay, very good. Better. All right, we got another win. We're going to move up to... Um... Oh, he has 95, which I didn't... Wait, but... Still, there are tricks here. Still, there's some tricks. Yeah, I give Jossam a lot of credit. He's finding this very nice little in-between tricks. I go rook hd and I, it doesn't work wait i know i'm better here i just have to find the actual win i play h no okay i have to do something with knight e5 bishop e5 bishop c6 rook d6 bishop <sighs> this is insane I, I i'm just missing something here i know it go here Hopefully this wins. I mean, maybe this doesn't, but it looks winning to me. I can just take... Very creative tricks, though, from Jossman in these games. Very, very creative. I like what he's doing. This rook d3. Finding another little trick, too. Um, wait, but this doesn't work, so I have king e8. No, I just got, I have king e8 here. No, this just doesn't work. Almost. Almost, almost another little trick. But now I just go like here, and I mean, again, I have b5. I also have rook c1, which is just me, because the king has no squares. I just take and take. 
C3, C2, GG's. Okay, it's better. Oh, let's play a London. I don't normally play a London. Let's play the London in honor of Amon Hamilton. Um, let's play 92. Play Bishop D3. Uh, I'm just going to castle here and play E4. You guys all play C3 here and Bishop H2. Um, <laughs> Amon hates the London. Wait, I thought this was his main opening. Isn't this his main? I thought he played the London, but maybe I, what do I know anyway? Go here. I know this is right, by the way, but this looks problematic or not. Wait, this shouldn't be right somehow. Wait, why don't I see it? This shouldn't be right. Um, takes, takes 95. Oh, uh, let's just go back then. I guess I'll just play a move. Yeah, it's gonna go b5. I mean, I guess I just go back and play chess, but it's what it is. Let's play a4 here. Is Jocelyn stronger than Danya? In classic chess, uh, yes. Um, in classic chess, yes. In blitz, I think it's very close. I would actually probably give Danya the nod because I think Danya is just better in the bolt. When player, when we both get really low on time, I think Danya is a little bit better in the bolt scrambles than Jocelyn is. That's what I would say. So I, I think, I mean, I think that's that's how I would rank them. I guess I'll go here i don't know if b2 or b3 is better but i assume i want this diagonal as well as like the right triangle but i don't honestly know if this is right it plays bishop h6 which seems like a strange move i'll play rook d1 again something's gonna there's gonna be an explosion in the middle of the board here either i'm gonna go c4 and explode everything or i can or he's gonna go c5 so there's gonna be something that happens here rook a8 I can also maybe go g4, but it doesn't look right. Um, let's just go c4. This is probably wrong, but I'm going to play it anyway. Yeah, but now I take. I mean, this is very, very complex. I have e... Yeah, so this is getting very messy. So I go e5, and now I don't even know who's better or who's worse or what's even going on. I take the knight. Like, everything's kind of messed up in the middle of the board here, so nobody knows what's happening. Okay, so I guess I take. Why not? Takes, and I mean, I don't even know what's going on. Maybe, maybe I have C5 or something. I mean, looks pretty good. Don't I just go C5, though? Because now I guard the bishop with two pawns. And now I just take and I win the game. I mean, he has to take and it's over. Um, I can go queen a1, then queen c3 is a little bit tricky. How do I do this, actually? I don't want to spend too much time here. Cause... Um, I think queen a1 must be right, knight b3, actually. Oh, wait, knight b3 hangs a knight. Oh, my gosh. Let's go here and take. Jeez. Bishop d5, which I think is wrong. Uh, a3, knight, so three takes b2, rookie one. I think this is winning for me. A3, I go here, hit the pawn. Because b3, I take b2, and then I have rookie one. I have rookie one. He missed it. I have rookie one, and I, 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 get, the, uh, I get the checkmate. It's a classic... Um, Classic lolly checkmate, or close to a lolly. Not quite, but close. Yeah, this is this is GG's. And I'm up a lot of time here, so now I go here, and I have bishop d3, and I just consolidate, and it's GG's. Go, wait, okay. Go here, and king f2, and bishop d3, of course. Here, and king d2. Okay, very good. I 
go here. Eat the juicer. Eat the juicer. Pretty smooth. You get X Redux for the two months. Uh, let's play a Scandinavian here. Something different. Why did I go G6 actually? I think I'm Fabiano or something. That was pretty good technique by me at the end, yeah. Okay, plays bishop d2. Now, the thing is I can go queen b6 here. I mean, queen a6 is kind of a weird move. But if I play e5, d5. By the way, when I say who do I think, do I think I'm a Fabiano? I said because Fabiano, he got a little bit too cocky. When his rating got up to 28, 2850, I think it was, he played the Scandinavian against, um, against uh, Dimitri Andraken. And that was the game that basically, that's when the downturn started. He was... Uh, he was basically just crushing everybody. I mean, just, just murdering everyone. And he was up to like 2850. And then he played the Scandinavian against Dimitri Andrejk and he lost that game. Lost about six points. And after that, he never quite got back up there. But uh, that's that's why I bring it up. Because this, this was the uh, Fabiano. Fabiano did this in that fateful, fateful game for his uh, chess career. Of his chess career, I should say. Okay, I'll go here, hit the knight. Don't like my position at all, by the way. It's not very attractive, shall we say. South burn? Um, not really. Yeah, this is kind of gross for me. I don't really like this at all. I don't even finish my development. It's it's really a serious question. I guess I go here. I hope the b4. I'm not losing after b4, but I think I can just go like queen b6 or something and sack. Okay, I think I go. Yeah, now I can go here and bring the queen back at least. And temporarily, I think I'm kind of okay. Kind of being the key word. Still 2850 isn't a bad place. No, 2850 is freaking ridiculous. That's that's a great rating. But the point is that that Fabiano was really just crushing everybody. And and that game cost him um it really it really cost him that momentum and he ha he never really got it back. I mean, mind you, of course, nobody's been there except for uh Gary Chess and um and uh and Magnus, but still. Yeah, the Scandinavian, that's what cost him uh his rating basically. Maybe Fabiano watched John Bartholomew. Maybe. I think it'd only I win for the 13 months. Yeah, maybe that's what he watched. Who knows? In 94, I mean, I think I just go back, try to stabilize, basically. He's got the Dose Bishops here. Or the Dose... Uh, no, it's not Dose Eki. He's got two Bishops, but... I should be okay here after 95. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go here and force a trade. I have a nice wooden shield here as well. Very, very nice wooden shield. Um, you go C3... I think I'll just play a6. I don't know if a6 is a good move. It feels like a bad move, but whatever. Um, hmm. Go here, trade some rooks. If Fabian is watching the stream, maybe he'll play Scandinavian against you tomorrow, Keck W. Very doubtful. Very, very doubtful. Uh, but anyway. Just go here. I want to go rook d8, maybe. Maybe just bishop c7 or something. Not a very attractive position, I will say that. I guess I go here, reroute the knight. I don't like bishop f3 at all. Uh, it's probably a decent move, but I, it feels kind of wrong somehow. I mean, queen f6, bishop d4 is a problem. I mean, I guess just knight e6, just consolidate the center. I'm up 30 seconds. I mean, how bad can this really be? Let's go here. Trying to maybe tickle, tickle some pieces here a little bit. Go here. I mean, it's starting to get a little bit unpleasant for white, maybe. It was a form to go here. Go here. I'm starting to, I'm starting to actually work him a little bit. That's a good move. Uh, that's a very good move. Uh, I guess I go um, here, maybe. I think this is okay. Uh, he's got rookie seven, which I missed. Okay, he doesn't take advantage of it. Yeah, now I'm going to win the game because I have rookie two, which he missed also. Jocelyn was getting a little bit shaky here. Quality's dropping just a touch for him. It doesn't mean like... Um, I 
Oh, just great. He's got this too. Wait, but now I can... Oh, I can't even take. Just great. I'm still going to flag him though. If I can. So bad. Okay, win. Let's go again. All right, let's keep rolling. Let's play D4. How did he pre-move King H4, by the way? Somehow he's a he's an oracle. He's an oracle. Somehow he pre-moved King H4. Don't ask me how he pre-moved that. Uh, I mean, the guy is the guy is a, the guy is an oracle. I don't know how he pre-moved King H4 there. He, I mean, like that's insane. There's like no way because we were already making like 20 pre-moves at that point. But hey, hats off to him. That that was an oracle. That's like that's god level. I will say that. C5. Hmm. Strange move. Do I play this like a Meroxy bind? I don't think I do. I'm just gonna go A3 and B4. You flagged two times already? Come on, have some class. Uh, sorry guys, this is Blitz. Uh, get over it, as, as we like to say. As, as, as the game goes, like, get over it. Get over it. That's the uh, that's the classic game. Um, now, 98 is a good move here. I, I love it. Get get super mad over that. Yeah, keep, keep, get, keep getting angry. Uh, I'm, oh wait. Um, how do I do this actually? Wait a second. Um, besides, I guess I'll go here and take. I mean, the thing is, he, I mean, he can take with a D pawn, but knight B5 or F, I mean, F4 looks very scary. F4, FE4, knight E4, you know, 4 I'm going to go for this. I don't know if it's a good move. He's going to take on, or actually he takes, I can take E5 too, maybe. Wait, huh? Oh, uh, let's see. The irony is you get most mad over flags. I don't usually get flagged. Um, and I, again, I have pretty hard set rules on flags. Yeah, I mean, generally, if, if like if players have have more than 15, like 15, 20 seconds or more, I never try unless I'm really mad in like Arena Kings. I'm really mad in Arena Kings or like Title Tuesday or something. I, I mean, I will, but that's very, very rare. OK, now I don't really believe in this for black somehow. I feel like these center pawns are too powerful. Like, I think in Title Tuesday, there was some game where, of course, there was increment. I just kept playing on for 50 moves because I was like, it's like, I don't ever want to be that guy. And then I just played on forever. Um, oh, he's just going to sack. Okay, so this actually is not crazy. I kind of don't know why I allowed this, in fact. I guess I'll go. Wait, what am I actually doing here? Wait a second. I play Knight B5, he takes. I take on G7. It's actually not what I want. I'm gonna go knight of two here. It feels very questionable. It feels very, very questionable in me. I actually don't like what I'm doing. I thought the pawn on f5 was hanging too, which it completely is not. Um, so he shouldn't have gone rookie eight though, because now I get bishop f1, although he has bishop d4, which I missed too, naturally. Um, but. I feel like I'm probably losing here somehow. I just don't quite know how I'm losing. Plays queen h6, which I also don't think is the right move, but it's all very, very, or is it very scary? Or did he just blunder? He just, oh, he's got queen c6. Oh no, but then I take g7. Wait, okay. I didn't even see queen c6 threatening the mate, but I can sack on g7. Yeah, not good. Not good, but I think I'm, I think I'm in good shape because now the, the diagonal is going to open. And then this diagonal shouldn't really play here. Okay, sacks another piece. I mean, is there an actual mate here? I'm, I'm gonna, I mean, if there's a mate, fine. I mean, if I, if I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't think I'm seeing the boogeyman here. So, uh, if there is, if there is the book, if the boogeyman exists, then so be it. I'll, I'll just lose this game, but I, I don't see it. And Jossman's actually thinking for a long time here, which means it probably doesn't exist. Well, he's got some G4, G3 weirdness that I see.
I'm trying to see if I can make this work. He goes queen h4. But I can also just take this. I don't think I will. I think I'll go queen f1, though. But queen f1, he has g4, and he's trying to angle for it again. Huh. This is particularly strange, actually. Wait, if I take... Try to king h1. G3, queen g... I don't see it. Whatever. If the boogeyman exists, the boogeyman exists. That's life. Yeah, it goes there. I mean, I have queen g1 for starters. Yeah, I have queen g1. And then I, I also can play like knight d5, I think. Or knight, wait, knight e4? Bishop g1, check king h8, doesn't work. Uh, I take knight e4. Queen f2, queen f2, knight. I think that wins. I'm going to go for it. I think it wins. Knight e4. Takes, I check and. Oh, he still has queen d4 in between, though. Wait, what? Oh, and I just blunt. Oh, I just blundered anyway. Maybe I just blundered anyway. Yeah, I just blundered anyway. Yeah, I just blundered anyway. Yeah, very poor. <sighs> yeah, all right. That was very poor. Uh, why did I play queen f2 even? That was completely winning. Very disappointing game. Yeah. I mean, I should not have sacked the queen. That was just so ridiculous. I mean, oh, I should have gone d6 to get the right order too, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's play d6, knight d7. That's unfortunate, but I mean, I was probably losing a previous game that I that I won, so. Okay, now I, I'm going to play this like a god of Kamsky would. Of course, Gata was the guy who accused Jossam of cheating, um, so it makes sense that I choose to play this against Gata. Uh, let's play a or not against Goddess, sorry, against Jospin. So let's go here. I guess just knight f6. Um, maybe bishop a6. Jospin cheating? No, I mean, Jospin's not cheating. Uh, but Goddard got really mad and salty, and he accused Jospin of cheating. So that's the uh, that's the lore, in case you guys were wondering. I'll take with the knight. Okay, he's going to go knight f5, I guess. Let's go here. Don't even know why I did this either. This isn't a very beautiful position, I will say that. Doesn't God accuse everyone he loses to of cheating? Something like that, yeah. Something like that, yeah. Go here. This so will go here in F6. Um, but yeah, God is a, a little bit... He's a little bit cheating happy. Uh, I will say that. He, he, he likes to uh, get angry. It's queen b5, which is probably a good move. Um, I'm gonna go here and just king f7, I guess. Has God accused me of cheating? I don't think he's ever accused me of cheating, no. But, um, but yeah, he's 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 pretty uh, cheating happy, Ac accu accusatory or whatever you want to say. Yeah, I guess I'll go here maybe. Yeah, I, I don't even have anything here, actually. I'm just like... This is probably just a draw. I'll go here, trade. I'm trying to get some knight a7, maybe, or knight b6. Although, I don't even see where my breakthrough is, honestly. Alright, let's have some fun. This might be bad, but whatever. Oh, he takes that way? I did not expect that, actually. I have to be careful not to blunder a pawn on c7 or d6 somewhere in here. Maybe seven? I guess I'll just take. And this is a blunder too. Oh, he misses it. He was actually, I think, winning if he played off four there, but he didn't do it. 
Now I start running the pawn. Oh, now I blundered up four anyway. Nice. Let's go here. Oh, or did I wait? This is very tricky. I mean, I have two connected pawns going up the board here. I mean, it's very tricky. Yeah, that's a move. Go here. I can play here and force him to trade. I mean, there's, it's two past pawns, like... I mean, if I can't win with two past pawns here, then I don't deserve to win. But I think my pawns are just too fast. And I guess I just take and go back. And C5, I just take, and I mean, you just can't stop them. They're just too fast. Okay, another good win. Just keep going, not even worried. Checkmate. Let's go again. 